Do you wish that you could leave here? Would you like to leave here if you could, Joshua? If you want to leave, point the rods in opposite directions from each other. For three straight days during the hot Pennsylvania summer in July of 1863, Union and Confederate soldiers were locked in a bloody battle to try and get control of Gettysburg during the Civil War. Both sides suffered heavy casualties, and some of those spirits are believed to be still wandering the battlefield and small town. One of those hot spots with reported paranormal activity is a place with a very historic past. Joshua, did you survive the entire Civil War? If so, could you point the rods? At straight ahead, put, put, put them together. Joshua, during the Battle of Gettysburg, did you see a lot of death? Did you experience a lot of death during the battle? If so, did you take the rods and point them away in opposite directions? Where we are now is what we call the Confederate Stronghold. The reason for that is during the Battle of Gettysburg, the creek bed that we walked past is what the Confederates called the Confederate Stronghold. The reason for that is during, as prior to the Battle of Gettysburg, Gettysburg was going through a very dry season. Um, that creek bed that we passed was completely dried out at the time. It was a great place to hide any of the wounded soldiers, keep them out of the line of fire, and hopefully they could recover and get back on their feet and get out of here after the war had ended. Jenny Wade was only 20 years old when a stray bullet struck and killed her on July 3, 1863. Historians say Wade was kneading dough for bread when she was fatally shot in her sister's home. While this building was not here during the war, it was the area it was built upon that holds a dark past of death and despair for Confederate soldiers who actually survived the battle, but, well, they never made it home. Unfortunately, after the war ended on July 4th, 1863, it started to rain very heavy here in town. Gettysburg is known for its flash floods. Unfortunately, all the wounded men that were laying in that creek bed were either washed downstream and drowned because of the water, or they were suffocated by the mud that washed over them. So probably around 90% of the men that were in that creek bed most likely died either right here in this general area or somewhere along that creek bed as we passed it. The energy of so much loss has supercharged the property with supernatural spiritual energy. That explains Case's team joined forces again with paranormal investigator Robert Simmons from Gettysburg Paranormal Association, Gettysburg Ghost Tours, and a crew of amateur ghost hunters to investigate what is known as the Confederate Stronghold. First, though, we had to learn a bit more about one of the ghosts who frequents the home. Prior to the Battle of Gettysburg, Harvey Sweeney had four children. Three of them were boys, one of them was a girl. Because he would have had three young boys, there would have been woods out here, a creek bed. Most likely, him and his children would have come out to the woods and played around the creek, played out in the woods, had a good time. That being said, we have talked to a child in this building. The child tells us his name is Jack. One of Harvey Sweeney's kids' names was John. Jack is a nickname for the name John, so it's very possible that is who we were talking to. When we talk to the child, we usually do so in the little apartment that is on the other side of that wall there. So, our team of paranormal investigators had their hands full to search out spirits in the building. A spirit box session might have connected with Jack early on. The device uses radio frequencies that allow the dead to communicate with the living through the white noise. While we communicated with who we believed to be Jack, my camera caught a strange light anomaly on the right side of the screen. See it right there? Was this Jack trying to use his energy to say, hey, I'm here, or was it simply dust? Well, it was very strange indeed.
Jack, well, he didn't fight in the war. No, but other ghosts in the home, they did. And the session with dowsing rods was truly remarkable. Some paranormal investigators believe the device can detect spiritual energy and allows the ghost to manipulate the rods for communication. An apparent Union Army soldier made an incredible connection with Cindy Altlin and her family. Back there. We got our phones out and we're showing him our phones and he was pointing the rods at each one of our phones as we were talking and like we called each other to show him how right. it worked. Yeah, it was, well, that's pretty it was wild. The spirit is believed to be Joshua, his name discovered via the spirit box. So he answered the family's questions for more than 10 minutes. The precision of those answers, oh, it was stunning. Were you killed because of the battle? Were you wounded during the battle and died after? Oh, okay. Don't even have to ask you to do anything to the rod, you just move it. Take that as a yes. Joshua, can you point the rods to where you're standing right now? So we can see where you're standing. Can you point to, to where you are? You have to keep pointing them to there before he keeps pointing them. Let's see. Can you point them both up to where you are at? These are there between the two of you. Joshua, did you survive the entire Civil War? If so, could you point the rods at, you. at straight ahead? Put, put, put them together? Did you die from illness after the war or infection? If so, can you cross the rods? He was moving. He was suddenly earlier. I know, but I don't know if he died from infection. I want to know what he died from. He said he survived. But didn't I ask him earlier if he was one of the soldiers that drowned in here? And he crossed the rods. I guess it passed him. Were you one of the soldiers that drowned? No, he said he came after the war. He survived the war. Do you not want to answer like that? Before the war, Joshua, were, what kind of a living did you make? Were you a farmer? If you were a farmer, can you um, point the rods in opposite directions from each other? Okay. No. Joshua, did you go to college? If you went to college, cross the rods. Joshua, during the Battle of Gettysburg, did you see a lot of death? Did you experience a lot of death during the battle? If so, could you take the rods and point them away in opposite directions? Joshua, were you in were you in a regiment, a Pennsylvania regiment, a cavalry regiment at, at the Battle of Gettysburg? If so, could you straighten out the rods? What rank was it? Joshua, were you were you an officer in the Union Army? If so, could you move the rods away from push them out away? If you were an officer in the Union Army. Put the rods in opposite directions if you were an officer. If you were an enlisted, in, just a regular enlistment cavalryman, could you push the rods out to the side? All right, just so we can try to figure out what's going on, did you die during the battle against her? Cross the rods if you did. That's a no. Did you die after the battle was over? Okay. When you died, were you still in the town of Gettysburg? Were you still in this area when you died? Did you die a long time after the battle was over? 
Did you die within a month after the battle was over? Did you die in this location? Joshua, did you get, did you die because you were sick? Did you, you die because you got sick? So more than like an infection. Hmm. Did you get sick because you were wounded? Hmm. Had you been shot? So your wound got infected, is that correct? Were you in a lot of pain? No, we're sorry for what you went through. Did you ever see your family again after you left home to go into the army after you enlisted? Did you ever see your family again? Did you get to visit with them at all? Yes. Probably the saddest part of this exchange, an apparent Civil War soldier unable to cross over. Joshua, can you leave here and, and go on? If you can leave here, can you straighten out the rods? Joshua, can you not leave here? Are you I, stuck? Are you stuck, Joshua? We're sorry you're stuck. Do you wish that you could leave here? Would you like to leave here if you could, Joshua? If you want to leave, point the rods in opposite directions from each other. Wow. Wow. Communicating with Joshua was a moving experience for the entire family. When you're able to make contact with somebody from the past, it's you're just talking to a, a person and trying to get to know them, and it's just a little bit more challenging because you have to be creative in the way you ask questions to get information, but it's fascinating. It's it's fascinating, and it's and talking to a real person. Gettysburg was the site of the Civil War's bloodiest battle. All the pain and suffering endured by Confederate and Union soldiers has kept this small Pennsylvania town a place for the dead to communicate with the living, to continue to tell their stories from the other side. It is something we experienced firsthand during our night at the Confederate stronghold. For Unexplained Cases, I'm Darren Dito.